Hey, what's up everybody? James Ann here with Expert Web Consulting and in this presentation I'm going to talk about seven things that will discourage your website visitors when they're on your website. And this is mainly geared towards those people who run or maintain their small business websites. They don't have thousands of dollars in budget to spend on web design uh, like the big corporations do. A lot of small business websites out there are using bad web design tendencies and they're not even realizing it and they don't realize how much it's actually hurting their business's image. So this is for those people who have never taken a web design class or who have never read a book on good visual design for the eye. If you have a website that you maintain or if you're thinking about making a website or if you just want to know more information about it in general, this is just a quick guideline of seven things that you want to keep an eye out for and make sure that you're not doing on your website. Any of these seven things will distract customers. It will frustrate them and it increases the chances that they will leave the website. And this is not in, in any specific kind of order but they're all important to remember. All right. So the first thing that will discourage your website visitors, confusing and inefficient navigation within the website. Most, web most websites should have no more than seven main links on their website. And those links should be displayed either across the top of the page or down the left-hand side of the page because studies show that those places are usually the first and the easiest areas for the human eye to look at and read. The link should be very clear and legible and they should tell the user exactly where they can expect to go and what they, what they can expect to see if they click on that link. If you have a lot of information on your website and a lot of different pages, think about using breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs are this sort of textual roadmap that tells you exactly where you are and how you got there. Um, if you go to NASA's website, which is right here, um, they do a really good job of using breadcrumbs right here. And when when you're on the home page here, I was on the home page and I clicked on the news and features button, which is right here. And then from there I clicked on speeches, and from there I clicked on the deputy administrator speeches, and that's where I'm at right now. So I'm pretty deep within the NASA's uh, website here, but it tells you exactly where you are and how you got there, so you can very easily backtrack if you want. And this is just a great way to sh to you know show people where they're at how they got there and it's a great way to keep people in the know and where they're at at all times if your website visitors ever start to feel lost then that becomes distracting and it's confusing to them and it takes away from your message and people don't want to spend time trying to figure out where they're at and how they got there so let them know breadcrumbs can be easily coded with HTML and CSS uh, if you have a web designer you should tell him or her that that you want to do this and they should easily be able to implement this in. Another thing to do is uh, check links periodically and by periodically I mean every two to three months and this is mainly for if you have links on your website that link out to other websites say you have articles that you you link out to to other websites and stuff like that um, because oftentimes those other websites they'll change they'll update their website or update their articles and, and that can cause a link to break and if you have a, a link on your website that someone's interested in and they click on it and it takes them to a URL that's a broken link and it's not working, it's frustrating for them and it looks bad for you because you're now seen as a website who doesn't stay up to date. And you're not, you're not staying relevant, you're not staying current with your information. Uh, so it's important to make sure all your links are working. And if you Google uh, fr like free link checker, um, then you can find a bunch of places where you can enter your website's URL and it'll check it for you. So you can get a good idea if you have any broken links or anything like that. So that's something that you should always stay on top of. Which brings me to point number two, outdated information. You do not want outdated information on your website. You should always make sure all the information throughout your entire website is up to date. This includes blogs, articles, contact information, links, and other things. Uh, whenever you have outdated information on your website, people will start to look at you like you're not staying up to date, that you're not being relevant with the times. You always want people to know that you're staying relevant and current with the world and what's going around us today. So put dates on your blogs and your articles and make sure everything's up to date and, and you'll be much better off. The number three thing that will discourage your website visitors is excessive or inefficient page scrolling. You should never make your website visitors scroll more than three lengths or you should at least give them the option not to have to. Um, if your website is, is about giving a lot of information then you probably have a lot of text on it. If you if you have all that text on just one page only, it's hard for people to scroll and try to keep track of where they're at. If they have to scroll more than three screen lengths, it can become overwhelming for them, and it's and it's, uh, it's a lot of it can be an information overload. So don't make them scroll too much. 
if you have that much information, it's best to break it up into chunks and make like a page two or a page three that they can click on and continue reading because people remember information better if it's broken up into chunks for them. It's less of a burden for people to read and it just doesn't seem like so much information when first looked at. So if you have a lot of information, break it up for people and they're much more likely to read it all. Okay. Now the number four thing that will discourage your website visitors is design inconsistency. You want to make sure that you're, you're being consistent in the design on every single page in your website. This includes coloring, graphics, icons, and buttons, uh, your writing style, the styles and the colors of your headers, your link colors, your font sizes, and everything, everything in between. Everything should be consistent on every single page. A lot of do-it-yourself website creators who are using other websites to make their own websites are doing a great job of doing what they can to get a good online presence going, but they just don't know about or don't think about using good visual design and being thoroughly consistent on every single page. Uh, three things that you should always try and do is stay clean, clear, and consistent. It's much more effective for your visitors to look at and read, and it's more visually appealing and, and professional looking. So try and stay consistent on every single page. The number five thing that will discourage your website visitors is poor content readability. Far too often webs websites have a tendency to overdo it with highlighting text, randomly changing the text colors on different pages, all capsing text, bolding, underlining, using different text sizes. And then whenever you start to do all these things just randomly throughout your website, it starts to make everything look cluttered and distracting. It starts to take away from your actual message and this is bad readability. Also watch your punctuation. You should only use one exclamation mark or, you know, just one question mark because if you start to use too many of these, it makes it look like you're yelling at people or you're being too dramatic. And you want to make everything nice and simple and clean and clear, uh, just like you would like the font to be when you're reading through a textbook. You know, the same should be applied when, when you're reading on a web page. You want to use normal sized font and weight because that looks good and clean and clear and it's very easy to read and that's called good readability. You can use italics and underlying and bolding, but use them sparingly to emphasize important information only. Because if you start to use it too much, then it becomes too in-your-face style, and that's just not good. Uh, if, and if you're going to if you're going to change colors for your text and your headers, make sure the colors agree with the primary colors of your website and and other text like that. Okay, the number six thing that will discourage your visitors is annoying use of flash. Don't use Flash on your website just for the sake of using Flash. A lot of websites try and implement Flash on, on, their, on their sites just to try, try to make it look more eye-catching. Um, but oftentimes it takes so long to load that people become too impatient and they leave before they even get a chance to see what you wanted them to see. People don't have time to wait for things to load. You have about 5 to 10 seconds at the most uh, before people are going to get impatient and leave and this is for anything on your website to load. This is pictures, text, and, and you know other graphics and flash. And you know you shouldn't use flash unless you really have to because using flash is not going to sell your products. What you say through text, through images, your testimonials, and your reputation is what's going to sell your products. So be very mindful of using flash. The number seven thing is visual and auditory clutter. Oftentimes, people use too much text, images, ads, and music just to try to make the website look more impressive or look like it has more to offer. But most of the time, this extra stuff is just more of a distraction than anything else. And sometimes less is more. Remember that white space on your website is a good thing to have because it makes it look cleaner. It makes it, looks, it makes it look more simplistic and people can focus on you and your message and not everything else that you've got going on. A couple examples. This is Google or this is Apple's website and just take note of the clean and simplistic look and this is a multi-billion dollar business and this is their home page and look how clean and simple it is. This is GoDaddy's website and notice all the white space they have. Everything's nice and clean and clear. This is JCPenney's, you know, and they they've been around for a long time and just their website a lot of white space, a lot of cleanness and clear, nothing too, you know, graphical that they're trying to to make stand out too much it's just very simple and of course this is Google Google's website and they're just you know they're they're only the number one ranked and most visited website on the entire internet 
Um, and, and it's because it's so clean and simple to use. So your business website, you should follow this, these models and you know, make, your, make your website clean and simple to use and focus on your message and your products because anything more is just, is just an, a distraction really. So these are the seven things that I think are the most important to be mindful of and the, they should be the first problems to address if you notice any of them. If you can get past these seven things and you've really given yourself a much cleaner and a more efficient website and you're putting yourself in a much better position to give your users a more pleasant user experience on your website and that gives you a much better chance to keep them there for a longer amount of time. Um, so, so that's all I've got for you today in this video and I hope you took something away from this list. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to check out some of my other videos for more advice on website design techniques and just you know marketing and, and te uh, sales techniques in general. So thank you very much. This is James Annan with Expert Web Consulting and I hope everyone out there has a great day. Thank you.